What's up, Transformers fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast of the Multiverse Musings Podcast Network. Here with a look at the 86 movie, limited edition, 35th anniversary steelbook, and the art of IDW's Transformers. I had a basic DVD of this movie, and I wasn't impressed with the clarity. So when I heard that there was a 35th anniversary 4K steelbook, I decided to go ahead and pick this up. So let's look at the contents now. So I really like that they went with the big climactic moment as the image for the steelbook cover. I really don't like these little adhesive things. I understand their function but they're a pain to get off sometimes. There we go. There is a close-up of that image, and you can see the light dancing off of this. I like that this is a different image than was used on the previous DVD and Blu-ray releases. That makes this feel special. So here is a look at the two discs that you get with this edition. And I'll go ahead and take this first one out and give you a close-up of the second disc. And once again, we see the moment where Hot Rod becomes Rodimus. That's really cool. I like that they use the inner ring to represent the Matrix. That's a nice little touch. And we see this artwork of Unicron on the inside. And on the back side of the steelbook, we have Galvatron. Now let's take a look at what is in this envelope here. And, oh, these are like collector cards. Only they're more like postcards in size. Wow, look at these. Of course, that's right before Optimus and Megatron fought. There's Unicron's head. And we see Megatron here. I like that angle, just the disdain on his face as he looks down. There's nothing on the back of these, but I do like that we got another extra here, and I like that we see this moment of foreshadowing. So now let's have a look at this hardcover book. And here is a description on the back of the contents. So I'm just going to show you a few features of this book. It's huge, so it would take me forever to go through page by page. And as you would expect, there's a little more than art, like this interview with Mark Bright. Whether it's deleted scenes and extras on Blu-rays or sketches like this, I'm always interested in seeing how the magic happens. Here is this gorgeous full page shot of Ultra Magnus. Over here we see Perceptor and Blaster. And there are also a couple of these fold out pages in the book. Take a look at this art. This is just so memorable. These characters are so iconic. It's so much fun to see a book like this. Speaking of iconic, here is that hot rod and freefall image. And here we're treated to a pre color sketch of Megatron and Optimus. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe. Make sure to check out my other videos where I review the G1 comics, and I should be posting a review of issue number four in the near future. But until that time, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.